Okay, so it is Monday, and this is the page I did for the Art Journal Dreams um, retreat. It's not finished. I still got to do the final details on it or what uh, the Reset Girl always called the frosting. But I thought I'd show it to you on here so you could see the size. Y'all, look. <laughs> this is that journal I made uh, New Year's Eve. And I, I gotta say, I love, 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 love the size. I, in hindsight, I probably should have done more than three, <laughs> more than three um, stitches. But I just covered it with um, collage paper and it's fun. So, okay. What is today? Today is day 24. So this is the last of the focal points. If you are confused, uh, go and watch my the video that has my face, which you never see. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this one today, and then we're gonna take a break between focal points and backgrounds so that you can catch up, you can relax. Um, I may do some prep projects. If so, I will either post videos, links, or just pictures if it's something that I know y'all know how to do. But I'm thinking I'm going to do that. I'm also going to make another set of cards, one of these, for backgrounds. And I think I've decided on um, doing vintage papers and then just the black dots. So basically, I guess brown would be their color. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, <sighs> all that said, I just walked in the door from work and I'm a little tired. <laughs> Let's be honest, I'm a lot tired. Where is, um, oh, I'm looking for it and I didn't put up my cards from the other day. <sighs> I'm getting bad about that, but this is the last one. So, um, let's put the color cards up and the theme card up. And uh, let's see what we got. So, as per normal, we have collage, we have stamping, and we have washi. All right. Our theme will be botanical, and our colors are. Purple and orange. Have we done purple and orange? We did. We did purple and orange. You know what? I think we need to, to shuffle these again. I think what that means is that, because, yeah, the punches, that was the color. So I think what that means is we've done all the cards. We have less color cards than anybody, and there's not really enough of these to do a good actual shuffle. So... Um, let's do a fake shuffle because, yeah, there's less of these than anybody else. Um, let's see if I can, let's see if we can do a shuffle at all. Yeah, it's not a very good shuffle. Um, so we do have to, we do have to, uh, shuffle them more often than the others. Um, but when we get to one and I say, oh wait, that's the same color combination we've done, then I know we're repeating. So, one more round. And colors will be pink and gray. Oh, cool, I like that, pink and gray. Um, okay, pink and gray. We haven't had that color combination. All right, so let's put all the unused cards up and let's see um collage washi stamps pink and gray well you know what i've got this gray left over from yesterday's that's tissue um i've got just some plain pink tissue as well so oh i've got two different pink pinks i've got this pale pink and then I've got this dark pink. So let's just tear off some of that. So that gives us two pinks and a gray. And um, let's 
get, because uh, we're going to stamp, so let's get a gray stamp and maybe a pink stamp pad. Oh, here's a pink stamp. Um, wait, I think I've got a big pink stamp pad down there. I do, I do. <laughs> All right, so there's a pink stamp pad. And so collage, we need some washi in pink and gray. Mm, pink and gray, washi or stickers. Well, you know what? Here's some pink washi stickers. So, because that's what this whole um, pad is, is reds and pinks. So, we will use something out of here. And we need a base. I don't think I've had anything gray. But you know what? Let's just use something we haven't used. So, let's get a couple of these. Um, do I care what they are? Let's see, pink and gray. Now that one's about a snowplow. Uh, this one's rocks, a handbook or manual. Uh, this is about a parakeet. Mr. Feathers rescues Maria when she dreams she's been captured by pirates. I think that must be a kid's book. So you know what, I think this one must be a kid's book too because it says, Katie the, Katie the Huge Snowplow saves the people of Geopolis uh, when winter threatens to shut the entire city down. So these both must be children's books. So let's do it. All right. So that gives us something to start with. And does that give us everything? Oh, botanical. We need something botanical. All right, you know what? I'm just going to draw something botanical in the background. Ha, ha, ha. Done. Done, done, done. Oh, and I've got a gray paint pen to do it. All right, timer. Anybody know where it is? Here it is. Timer. Set the timer. Check that we're in frame and recording. All good. Yes, I'm in elephant pajamas if you just got a flash of them. I do love my elephant pajamas. <laughs> All right, we got pink and gray. We got, we're going to draw some botanical, uh, oh, we need a stamp. Oh, maybe we need a botanical stamp. Let's see what we have over here. All right, I don't see a botanical stamp, so we're just going to use these background stamps right here. All right. Let's get to work because we're burning daylight, people. Um, all right, so let's just get a little pink, a little pink, and a little gray. And I think that's probably enough because we don't want to cover any of these cards entirely. And... That might still be wet from yesterday. Uh, it is! Yay! It was under the other thing. Um, sometimes when you use these ceramics, and when you stack them, it will actually keep something if it's a lot of it. Um, if it's uh, between the layers and there's a lot of it, it sometimes will. Alright, so let's get a brush. This one will do. And let's just put some stuff down. Um, which direction do we want these? You know, let's do, let's do them this way so you actually can still read them. Perhaps, possibly, maybe. Alright, so I'm going to do, I think, right here. Um, let's do some of this gray right there. And I'll just trim off anything that hangs over when we're done. So that gives us some gray. And some, you know what, let's do this one this way. I know, I just said I was going to leave it where you could read it. And yet here I am not. 
cover, first thing I did was cover up Katie and the big, oh, well, you can still kind of see the text. You can't really read it anymore, but you can still see it. All right, so there's that one. Now let's tear this one in half and let's put some of this pink, let's put it right here. Yeah, I don't really have a plan. We are truly just flying by the seat of our pants at this point. But some of the best things you make are when you're just flying by the seat of your pants. I have no idea where that expression came from. Sometimes when I say stuff and then I remember we have people from all over the world that I'll be watching, then I think, oh, what if somebody asks me what that's from or what that means? I don't know what it means. I don't know where it's from. <laughs> And then I'm like, oh, I wish I hadn't said that. Because no, what if somebody asked me? I don't know. And I really don't. I have no idea what that actually does mean. No clue. Uh, I think I came down lower than my glue did. So let's try that again. All right, and now then, let's do some this pink. And let's do some of this pink. Draw it. Um, let's cover that up in case I need it again. When I grabbed this, um, I was thinking I would use this one or this one, just the background stamp, but then I got to look at, and that small, I could make that a flower. So I think I'm gonna stamp this in maybe pink, or maybe some in pink and some in gray, and then do the stem in the gray. Ha ha ha, looky there. We just turned a non-botanical stamp into a botanical stamp. <laughs> uh, so let's get this sweet berry uh, True Color Fusion, which I have no idea if it is permanent or not. I think this is, I don't know, acid-free ink pad from, I don't know, Stamper's Journey. Sometimes I get stuff and I really, truly just don't know where I got it from. Alright, I think that's pretty cool. Um, all right, so, um, there's a lot of ink down in the gaps of that, and I don't want to. There. Okay, so that gives us collage, that gives us stamping, that gives us pink and gray, and halfway through botanical. Hey y'all, we're doing pretty good today. All right, so. Um, let's trim, let's trim this. Okay. And does this one need trimming? And just a little bit.
Man, that was more gnawing than trimming. Um, okay. So I think I'm going to take this one and I think I'm going to do the flowers this way. So I'm going to do a circle like around them. And then Okay, so there's one set of quote unquote flowers. And then here's the other ones. And I think I'll make that the front flower. And So, I mean, just very sketchy, messy flowers. Now then I need some washi. And I've got one to go this way, one to go this way. And let's see what we've got. And I think that's gonna be done and we have five minutes left. So we can actually do some pin detail or something on this one, because we'll have some time. Um, <laughs> pigs? I don't think we need pigs. Um, oh, she's cute. She's cute, especially considering that these were um, children's books. So, is she cut out or do I need to cut her out? No, she's cut out. All right, so let's do her for this one. So let's just put her right. <laughs> right there. Okay, and now for the other one, let's see what we've got. Let me get back to the pinks. Um, I like her, but I feel like she's too tall. Oh, I like this one because it's also, she's got flowers in her hands. I wonder, can I fit her? Yeah, I think I can fit her. Y'all love my, my fabulous measure in there? <laughs> hey, if it works. Okay. need to cut off her elbow because it came off and I don't have anything for it to stick to. Okay. Whew. These scissors are gunky. I need to clean them. All right. So now that I've done that, let's just grab our black pen. And this is a 0.8. And we've got about three minutes, so let's quickly outline her. And I should have seen if that was dry before I did that, but it is.
Oh, I just realized I've got my, my big old hand in the way and you probably can't see a thing I'm doing. I'm just kind of making some flower details or trying to. This pin doesn't want to wrap. All right, and there he goes again. It may be the matte medium that he's not wanting to ride on. Grab a smaller one because oh, and I gotta come back up here where y'all can see if possible at all. Just outlining everything. Oh, there it goes. And I'm going to call that a success. All right. So our cards were. Pink and gray, and we definitely have pink and gray. Botanical, we got our very modern cake on flowers. Stamping, the centers of our flowers. Washi tape is our girls. So let me stand up and give you close-ups. So there's one, and there's the other. All right, so that friends and neighbors and artists <laughs> is day 24 and the last of the focal images. So we're going to take a break. Um, I don't have my, do I have my notes in front of me? I do have my notes in front of me. Hang on. I'll tell you when we're starting. We are starting the first video for backgrounds will actually be the 20th, March 20th. Um, I may do some background, um, some background, some prep work, um, some master board type prep work again. If so, I'll try to get those posted or shared or ideas or whatever I'm going to do before the 20th. Um, I will be making, like I said, cards for these. I will try to get those. At, I'm not going to do a video on it, um, cause I'm just going to collage. Here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to take a bunch of these vintage papers the forms I've got, sheet music, and book pages. Not necessarily, oh, and ledger paper. <laughs> These are strips. Uh, not necessarily the ones that have got paint on them, but just some, some good ones. And I'm going to collage them down, let it dry, and then I'm just going to do some black mark making on it um, before I cut them down to the right size. And then I will add our background topics. Uh, just a reminder, if you have a background topic you want me to add to the list, uh, you can comment it on the last video, you can comment it on this video. Our list so far for backgrounds is neurographical, gel prints, color-based collage, uh, meaning just pick a single color and do it, or two colors and do a collage. I guess two colors, because we have monochromatic down here later. The watercolor salt, um, which could also be the coffee dye salt, but the salt trick, um, watercolor stencil trick, which it could also be coffee dye or tea dye, or Kool-Aid. If you've ever done it with Kool-Aid, oh, maybe I'll do that. I haven't done that in a while. Um, coffee dye, all right, just, just coffee dye. Vintage papers of collage. Uh, collage free for all, just grabbing stuff and playing. And monochromatic. Um, so, let's see. 
Well, what do we not have? We don't have just plain old stencil backgrounds, right? So, so we'll do stamps and stencils as well. And you want to just do plain old mark making? Just plain old mark making. Um, if you don't know what I mean by plain old mark making, um, it's just grabbing a, a brush, a pen, and making just loose marks. Pick a mark and make it over and over. So like say I want to do X's. Maybe I would grab a paint pen and I'd grab my paper of choice and I would hold it very loose and free and literally just do, oops, <laughs> X's. Um, and a lot of times when you're doing this kind of mark making, um, let me, I'll swap it. Okay, can I do this? Ah, you can do it with your non-dominant hand and uh, you actually get much freer marks because it's your non-dominant hand. So, um, that could that could be if I had done it on a paper I would want to use for collage. <laughs> that could be mark making, all right? So we'll add mark making to the list. So that gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve different ones. I think we end up with sixteen cards. So give me your best four extras. Bye, y'all.